of the first aerial imagery uh, from 1906 from San Francisco uh, earthquake. Note the high distortion, especially on the edges. Uh, the mm, mm, uh, the dogs here are supposed to be rectangle. They're this real shape. Here you can see how tilted everything uh, appears to be on the picture. The whole procedure, beginning from acquiring the photos, through processing them, up to using them for either interpretation or computation analysis, is called photogrammetric process. We're going to focus now to explain why the middle, why the um, middle step needs to be included, why the data that is acquired from the air needs to be processed in order to perform measurements and interpretation. First, we need to understand how the photo photograph differs from the map. Map is a cartographic uh, a cartogrammetric material that you can make measurements. The, it has the orth orthographic projection when everything, like you can hear, like you can see here, um, the, this tree has its exact location on the map. Photograph is different. Photograph works like human eyes. It sees through the lens, which is a sensor in the center of the projection, and uh, puts everything into perspective. So as you can see, the same trees will be depicted in a different place on the photo and be, are gonna be disordered in a shape than on the map when you can see everything from the top. Here, there is explained a little bit more into details. What are, uh, what what is the uh, what are the terms in the geometry of the uh, aerial uh, image? The focal length is the distance between lens and the focal plane, so the film. Here you can see the lens that captures the ground. This is the ground that appears in the photo. And it's on a certain altitude above ground, ground level that usually, <laughs> if we are not exactly on the shore, is different from the altitude above sea level. These shortcuts, you're going to see them uh, multiple times uh, in the uh, th through the processing. You have, here you have the ne next picture that uh, shows how much it is important to distinguish between orthographic view and perspective view. You can see here just the, uh, if you, you would consider this a uh, high buildings, how that you can see here only the roofs because you see it from above like totally vertically and uh, here you can see them tilted a little bit uh, note that they're also on a different height uh, on about the above the sea level Here we have really simplified version. You see the rays and uh, uh, the center of the projection. And here the orthographic view, when you have the view on the plane and then scale reduction, because of course, uh, we want to make the map smaller than the reality. Two things need to be addressed when we talk of the proce processing of the images, perspective, and also the real relief distortion. As as I showed you, the rays here that need to be like straightened up, so uh, the point on the ground will be in the same location as the point on the map. The rays need to go orthogonally instead of conically. The other thing is then if you take if you take to account, account the datum plane and the re relief, you can see how different it will be depicted on uh, on the photo because of the um, of the projection. And we want the orthophoto map or the map that we are producing 
be cartometric, so be exactly in the same location when the object on the ground. How is this obtained? The new, con the new term here is autorectification. Autorectification is the process that removes what we talked about it uh, about before, the perspective and the effects of relief displacement. Something that was not covered in the last slide is that there are some distortions that, ho that come directly from the sensor. It removes them from photograph or the digital image. And this is the result. This is one of the orthophotos produced from our test site where we're going to fly in two weeks. It, you can see here the digital surface model as the source of the terrain data and how the relief displacement can be removed. We're going to talk in depth about how it is uh, possible soon. So short. At the beginning, we have aerial photographs that have the ge geometry that are not eligible for quantitative measurements because of the topographic displacement, tilt, and camera lens distortion. Then we go through the autorectification process and we change the perspective projection of a photo into the orthography auto projection, removing also the uh, displacements and distortions. The final product, product has the geo geometric correctness uh, of the orthophoto map, so can be treated exactly the same like a map. Here is the example. Uh, the orthophoto can be uh, treated as a map, so it can we can put a grid on it, we can put a scale, we can orient it, which is not possible if the, uh, um, the projection will not be changed. This photo is geometrically corrected and has the uniform scale and can be used to measure true horizontal distances. But how do we do it? How do we get there? Uh, the old way was doing it with analog, with huge machine that will use the stereo pairs to, um, to match the, uh, the photos. Now we have an easier way. We do it digitally by utilizing uh, photogrammetry software. But the same concept of um, removing the perspective of uh, changing the projection applied to both uh, to both uh, processes, the old and the new digital way. What do we need to get there? First, of course, we need the digital imagery with sufficient overlap. This is going to be covered uh, in more in details when we're going to plan the flight in next lecture. Then, as I mentioned, the, the really important role of the relief displacement, we need to have the information about the elevation. It used to be obtained only through the digital elevation model. We also needed the exterior parameters from aerial triangulation, or in our case, from inertial measuring units to remove the tilt distortion. So we need to know how much uh, how the camera or the sensor was tilted in relation to the ground. Also something that used to be necessary is the camera calibration report that will tell us about the distortions of the sensor of the lens to transfer perspective to orth of projection. What is also needed and was essential uh, with the analog way is ground control points for georeferencing, the points with known um, latitude, altitude, uh, longitude, latitude, and altitude to the reduced the distortions. We also, at the end, we need a photogrammetry processing software that utilizes collinearity equations. And the really important part is that the second, third, and fourth point right now can be estimated from raw images and we're going to talk about it more 
with the imagery processing lecture.